What up, babes? It's your girl, Dr. Come Back to Pearl Takes. Well, the trailer talk from the movie titled Orphan First Kill. Now, this one, I'm beyond hyped to see this one. I knew this was going to work, I want to say, maybe about a year and a half or so ago. I knew that we'd be getting to see uh, the character Esther revisited, played by Isabel Furman. She did a fabulous job in the first one titled Orphan, came out in 2009, starred her, Vera Farmiga, and Peter Sarsgaard. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. My apologies. I just enjoyed how this family in the original first one where they're adopting a girl from an orphanage and they, of course, pick Esther and they're excited to extend to their family and unbeknownst to them, you know, certain events start happening and the mother's kind of realizing something's not right with this, as you want to say, angelic young, young little girl. She's not what she appears to be and she really was not. Now, the way they set up, if you saw the ending, you see the tragic when she finally comes to her fatal end courtesy of uh, Famiga. So I like that they say in this one titled First Kill. So we're going to see some backstory. So I'm here for that pretty much. So I'm happy to see her. I will say it's her overall look. She probably still has a very young looking face. So I want to see just kind of how they did her in regards to that. So you know what? Enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Save the rest of my thoughts at the end, you guys. What is this doing here? We found your daughter. She's alive. Be prepared for changes. We have a child therapist that she'll be working with. Four years is a long time. What she needs right now is our family. Esther? Mm. Sweetheart, it's mommy. Oh. Welcome home, Esther. We left it just as it was. It's lovely to be back. I miss my family very much. Our goal here is helping Esther acclimate back into life within the family unit. Whoa. Sorry. I think something's going on with Esther. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time away? How's that possible? Four years ago, she was still drawing stick figures. Esther's behavior has been so erratic. Hello, Mommy. Oh. Felt like a performance. Ooh. If you're not Esther, who are you? You got to give Mommy, I need it for you. protects her family. No matter what. That is the story of that story of love. All right, you guys. Uh, no worries because I'm here for every little bit of this. Just Esther up to no good. I like the premise of you knowing that Julia Stiles' character, I'm excited to see her. I'm such a fan of her, of course. They haven't had their child, I don't know how long it's been, and they finally find her. And, of course, it's Esther. And it's interesting because when you see later in the trailer, the guy looking at the picture, like, you're not Esther, who are you? When he's trying to match up, you know, fingerprints, this, 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 still scoping out the family like something's not right, and he's just sticking to his intuition, and that's fine. Now we go back, and you see she has a psychiatrist, you know, kind of on hand, you know, to talk to her daughter, you know, wheel her back into just you know, some sort of normalcy slowly, gradually with the help of a doctor. But you can see small little bit of caressing, things like that. She doesn't want to be touched, held. And like they state, as you hear um, in the backdrop, they're like, you know, what happened to her this time she was gone? So I'm trying to hint if I, how long ago she was kidnapped, how long she'd been missing. I'm curious. I can't recall when they said, but moving past that, Definitely it's going to be interesting. You can see, of course, she loves on her daughter. She's like, something's just not right. She's acting different. And then even with the doctor making comments, like, you know, she's not sure when she's talked to her, some inconsistencies, whatever, I feel like some of it's staged, like it's all being acted out just to put the doctor at ease, but the doctor's not, you know, believing it. Hence, if doctors dealt with a lot of different types of patients, they know when they feel like they're being just 
shoved some BS, you know, so and you could tell she was able to hear whatever the audio to catch that. And you see her hitting herself, whatever I recall certain instances in the previous film. So yes, I am here for this because again, this sets up as it says first kill. So I want to see, and when you see the ending, what will to me probably could be part of the ending where it looks like a house is burning up, where eventually she's able to get away. You know, they remember in the first one how there were certain things that were missing in between her story of, you know, what happened to her, where, how did they find her, where did she come from, things of that nature. So, so many little blotches of her life or past, whatever, where they can't seem to tie in, you know, where's all these little points? Where was she at during this time, this time, whatever? We have just too much emptiness and space and not understanding, you know, certain things, which will make a, any person think light bulb, like something's not right here. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. This trailer was edited real nice. <laughs> so I already know I'm going to go see this. And I have to see this in the theater. I want the full experience of this one. I will say this with her. I'm not even going to pay any mind. When you look at her, she definitely looks the same. Of course, fits the look. But you can see she's gotten a little bit taller. So it's kind of obvious, a little bit innocent. But I don't care. I'm still going to see it. So with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.